Hey, Jeremy here and you're watching Stylize Station, a channel dedicated to teaching you how to make art. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at a tip from a recent tutorial that you might have missed. Our good friend Carlos is going to show us how to take our renders to the next level using alpha cards in Unreal Engine 4. If you want to watch the full tutorial, I'll leave a link in the description. Now, let's get into the video. And finally, a big, big trick that helped out this entire thing um, that honestly, without it, it probably wouldn't be as successful of a piece. All these planes, all of them, and you can see them better when it's back here, they're just, they're just cloud alphas with depth fade. And this really is like the making point for my environment and it really just tied everything together because without it, let me show you real quick, without it, boom it kind of loses a lot you know it loses the uh the painterness painterliness of it all it, and the it, it had like this cool opacity to it but with it it's just it's just night and day honestly the difference is night and day um so using these these cloud mask alpha cards really saved my life and uh if you want like a full, 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 full um, description of it, basically what I did is first I had these clouds, uh, very, very cute, uh, very quick cloud meshes that I made on ZBrush. Um, they're nothing too fancy, uh, but they add like this highlight definition that you really need uh, for clouds. And I then went to Maya and use the VFX Fluid Sims, uh, a 2D container, and messed around with the settings here, uh, the different, the density and the velocity and the turbulence, etc., to kind of get like a a cloud shape. And this is this is really honestly this is really cool for making clouds. I know there's so many ways to make clouds, but I really enjoyed this process, um, and it was kind of new to me. Uh, to do it this way and yeah, I would just basically let this simulate and then grab this and Make it a cloud alpha by taking it to Photoshop and adjusting some of the values and Then I would just toss it into here onto my material again, like I said with the with a depth fade uh, It's really a simple material. Honestly, it's It's just here. Let me show you quickly. It's, uh, let me show you guys. All right. So yeah, it's basically just a tint uh, basically a three color with a multiply and then the alpha card, then another multiply and some depth fade and then two parameters, one for opacity and one for depth fade on the opacity mask. And yeah, that's all you need really. And it's uh, really, really extremely helpful for, for just adding some fog in your scene. Fog is really important. It's atmospheric. You want to have atmosphere. Atmosphere is like one of the most important things in a environment and it's it's really good to fo focus in on that sometimes um, especially because you could have a lot of control over the color and of, of, over the values of your scene like like I said if I take all of these away again let me let me show you guys again it's honestly like night and day it really just look at how dark this is this becomes look at how in your face this this building in the back becomes it just all becomes too too contrasty and it's not it just doesn't work as well so yeah um yeah that's a really big big part of this piece and without it uh it wouldn't have been as successful mm -hmm. 